This is the 1985 Ford EXP catalog, um, or brochure, whatever you'd like to call it. So this is the one specifically for the Ford EXP. Um, it's inside. It's, it's it's very similar to the 84 one. Um, as a matter of fact, the 85, the 80, and 84 EXP only differ in uh, in a couple ways. <clears throat> the 84 turbos, you know, they had the uh, spoiler over the deck lid, while the others did not. In 85, the turbo still had the spoiler, but uh, underneath the spoiler, uh, they added a center uh, brake light underneath the spoiler. It mounted onto the, the deck lid, but it was underneath the spoiler. Uh, because in, 19, in late 85, it was federally mandated that all cars had to have a center brake light. So for 1986 forward, all EXPs would have a center brake light underneath the spoiler. And then they, they just used the spoiler to cosmetically uh, contain that center brake light. Uh, the, the other difference between the 84 and 85 was the transmissions. They, they had a, a relatively minor transmission change. It changed the gear patterns where reverse was previously up and left on the four speeds and five speeds it moved down to the the lower right on all of the uh, manual transmissions but also with that change in 85 um, all those new transmissions came with a new shifter boot you know, what was previously a, a leather bottom boot with a rubber uh, shift knob became a square rubber boot molded in with the shift knob, making it all one piece. Uh, but really, that's all that's different between the 84 and 85. Literally nothing else changed, but yeah, that's the front cover. Um, the back cover is the same photo, but uh, the back side of the car. But we'll pop this thing open. Um, in 84, 85, pretty much every single catalog started with this. It'd be a, uh, a letter from the the Ford president at the time and ensuring quality. And sometimes he talks about the specific car. Sometimes he just talks about Ford in general. Uh, but with the next page, it, it gives a quick overview of the three different EXP options. You had the standard car. You had the luxury coupe, which was the... The, the middle tier, and then the turbo coupe, which was the, the cream of the crop, the actual performance machine. Uh, but we'll move forward again, get an, uh, another nice full photo. Um, and then on the top here, you're welcome to pause the video at any time to get caught up on uh, any of the reading. And I'll just hold the camera steady so that you can see it. That, yeah, goes on to talk about the workmanship, craftsmanship, etc., etc., about these cars. And this page talks about how much money they threw at these things and, and other resources. And then the next page, it talks about some of the uh, mechanical improvements that they've recently done to these cars. Uh, this is all the same exact stuff in the 84 book, but you're going to read up on it. Yeah, they talk about things like the suspension, the engine, the steering, the, the brakes, the aerodynamic design, the, the, the TR package, and then they have a whole page dedicated just to the EFI models and the turbo models. There's some pretty neat stuff in here. Um, not much of the other Ford literature talks about the 1.6 turbo CVH. Uh, the, the Escort and Lynx uh, catalogs talk about it some, but the, the normal Ford ones don't. Uh, Ford tried really hard to kind of keep that 1.6 turbo under wraps. Even though it was the, the you know, uh, power to displacement, the the most powerful engine Ford made up until that time. Uh, but the next page starts our interior stuff. For 84 and 
84 on up, pretty much the interiors would be mostly cloth. And it talks about some of the ergonomics inside the car. Some of the neat interior features. Kind of neat cutaway of the seats. The frames of these are the same across all, all the Escorts, 81 to 90. It's even the same frame as most of the Mustang seats. The only thing that changes between all these is the bun shape, you know, the, what the actual foam molding shape is. And then uh, some have unique headrests, like, like the turbo seats that have the halo headrests. Next it talks about the, uh, the, the, the option packages a little bit more between the normal car, the luxury coupe, and the turbo coupe. And then too crazy, um, the, the luxury coupe just allows you to have things like the, the TR packages and the nice radio um, equipment, automatic tranny, you know, things like that. And the turbo coupe was just uh, paying more for a stripped down model with better suspension and the awesome engine. And it talks about some of the dealer options. Um, that, that sunroof is a factory option. Here it lists all the options and features to have side by side. Oop, try holding that better. So you can see a lot of big differences between the standard EXP and then the luxury model. That's what those columns are. Left to right, it's the normal car, luxury model and then the turbo model and then it uh, shows a quick glimpse of all the colors you don't get to see the metallic flakes in them but um, and then these are actually kind of neat because the 84 and 85 books show a comparison chart between all of the exterior and interior color combos this is something I, I wish the the 81 to 83 books covered uh, because you don't you, you don't get to see any of this in those older ones um, you know, things like the very rare white interior you know I am the very rare yellow exterior but pretty much covers these in 84 and 85 these things weren't very thick you know, they're, they're next to nothing compared to like these 81 manuals. Big thickness difference. <laughs> um, but yeah, these, these two are almost identical inside and out. Biggest difference being the cover. And then uh, their, their uh, made dates are, are a little bit different. You can see this one's 11 of 83, and this one's 8 of 84. At the time, there, there really wasn't much for changes in them besides the, the couple things I mentioned. However, that's all there is to the 85 EXP, so we'll leave it at this.